What's up YouTube? In today's video I'm going to show what I've learned about Editor X and share my thoughts on if it will be able to replace Webflow. So if you think about what Webflow has done at its very core, it's basically created a UI for code. So I'm always on the lookout for other companies coming up that could be the next big competitor for Webflow. And Editor X came out about a year ago, but lately I've been seeing so many ads for it. And the art direction of these ads are incredible. And it really got me excited. Could this be the next big uh, movement in the no code movement. So I started watching all the tutorials on Editor X, started watching all of its own tutorials, other tutorials that people came up with, and got a good grasp of the workflow for building out a site within the platform. Um, right when we dive in, I want to show you some really cool things that I thought are really awesome that come baked in with the platform. First thing, if we edit text, uh, it all automatically comes with responsive typography. So we have a minimum font size, a max font size, and in between those two sizes, everything's going to scale with the viewport width. So it's using a very scalable method right there. Um, one thing that's also really nice about it that we've been asking for a long time is the ability to add custom breakpoints at whatever size you want, and it creates it right there for you. If you make a change on a lower breakpoint, and maybe we come over here and decide to change the color of this button and maybe we change its border color as well and then say we want that change to also happen on desktop all we have to do is right click and then we can copy from a breakpoint and we'll just copy the style from our mobile breakpoint and all those styles we created are back up on desktop. So that's something really cool about the platform. It also has transparent videos that you can use and upload using an alpha channel and then some sort of custom functionality that hides the background of that video, which is really neat. Uh, without any custom code, you can also change the colors of SVGs and the places of that SVG. Um, so those are some really neat, nice things about it. It also has sort of like a um, dynamic slider baked in that you can activate on mobile or wherever you want um, without having to get too much into the nitty gritty. If you're ever used to the way Wix works, it's basically uh, works kind of similar. So you can drag things wherever you want and it's going to decide whether it wants to make that position absolute or maybe relative with some negative margin. Um, so it's basically figuring all the stuff out for you, how much of an offset it needs, where it's going to be docked from. You can adjust some of these margins. Um, and it has some basic things like Flexbox, CSS Grid. Um, you can adjust some of the different display settings, like you can do display none by hiding things on a certain breakpoint. Um, you can also do uh, position sticky, position fixed, overflow scrolls, a couple different things like that. Um, so it has a lot of the things that Webflow has uh, sort of built in here. It has its own CMS and of course all of the things that um, that Wix already has like all of its certain plugins you can also use with this right from the get-go. Um, so the question really comes in, will it be able to replace Webflow? And when I think of Editor X, I kind of think of it a lot like Canva. So Canva is the perfect fit for so many people because there's no need to learn like the intricacies of the way Photoshop works and all the different selection tools. You click a few buttons, it does all the hard work for you. You don't have to get into the nitty gritty. So I think Editor X is going to be hugely successful because the learning curve isn't anywhere near as steep as Webflow. You get in there, you don't have to really learn the fundamentals of code and then it can start working for you. It's a lot smooth. It figures out all the hard stuff for you. Now, kind of the, going back to our Canva example, whenever you're using Canva, it works most of the time until you need to do something more custom. And when that happens, you can end up really stuck because you don't have access to the fundam fundamental things that need to happen. And the same is true about Editor X. Whenever we're styling things, there's no classes. So like if I were to duplicate this button, then that change isn't gonna uh, cascade from the first one to the second one because these are not using classes. These are unique elements with unique IDs. Um, and then even if I wanted to change the font color, there's no way to change like the font color of the parent and have all this text inherit from its parent font size or color. So you have to come over to each one one by one and adjust the colors. There's a basic style guide, which you can set up some of your different heading sizes and things like that. And you can adjust maybe its size or its bold or italic. You can't adjust line heights though. So if you do want to adjust line heights, you're going to have to come over here and adjust them one by one on a per element basis. We can turn on dev mode and edit some JavaScript. 
but uh, I haven't found any way in here to add your own CSS or style your own elements from here. So we're kind of limited with the basic styling that we can do from here. So overall, I think unless there's a fundamental change in the way this platform works to where it starts working a lot more like the way we actually develop sites with HTML and CSS, then this isn't going to be able to be scaled up to build custom solutions on. There's some basic interactions that you can do right now. It's nowhere near uh, Webflow's interactions, um, like you don't have anything tied to mouse move or different things like that. Um, but they can always add that different interactions to that. They can add the latest and greatest features in here that make it a very appealing platform for designers. But if the fundamentals are there, it's hard to build larger sites on this when everything's so just drag and drop and no sort of like repeating styles or classes, um, no true foundation of the way code works. Uh, throughout this sort of build. So I hope that answered some questions for you. The way Editor X really works, I think is going to be great for so many people. For me personally, I don't think it's going to be able to replace Webflow anytime soon unless there's a dramatic change in the way the platform actually works to be able to work more truly to the way code works on an actual site. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.